to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ayana, and you want to go ahead, press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you will not miss any videos from me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, y'all, so y'all can tell from the title, she gonna be doing a protective style soon, AKA today, but it'll be another video y'all see, but I'm too hyped right now. So I will be showing you guys how I prep my hair for a protective style. I'll be going through my wash day, how I prep my hair for a protective style. So as you can see, my hair is a mess. Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up honest. I don't even remember the last time I washed my hair. I don't, I don't remember. I feel like it's been like at least three weeks at the max. All right, y'all, so this is my hair. I might put some gloves on because my nails are kind of snagging a little bit, but this is the hair scalp itching. So you guys know, go ahead and put my hair in my usual sections. So I feel like I have not done a protective style in like so long. So this is my regular section I will be working on. I'll probably split this in half again. So I can focus. So the shampoo I'm going to be using today is the Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Shampoo. I really like this shampoo. You guys seen me use it before. But I'm just spraying my hair down with some water. Um, if you're new to my channel, I usually, I wash my hair in the sink. So y'all know if you wash your hair in the sink and you bent over, your neck gonna be hurting. So I just usually drench my hair down with water before I head to the sink and um, apply the shampoo directly to the hair before I head to the sink. If you never did it this way, I definitely recommend it. Especially if you wash your hair in the sink so your neck don't be hurting and broke and all that stuff. And I take a little bit of the shampoo and put that on. Y'all, it's going to be so difficult for me to do this whole thing with um, gloves on because I'm so used to feeling my hair. I can't really feel, I can't feel anything. But I, no, I don't want my hair to be snagging. The first thing you do want to do with a protective, if you're preparing for a protective style, is make sure your hair is clean. Like you need to be doing a protective style on clean hair. But I've done this process a billion of times, so I'm gonna just speed through this process. All I'm doing is just spraying my hair down with some water and applying um, shampoo to it right now. guys so I'm back I just put the shampoo all on the shaft of my hair I'm getting ready to head to the sink so I can shampoo my scalp rinse the shampoo out and all that good stuff but once I get back from shampoo I'm going to go in with the um my organics pomegranate and honey conditioner all right so I'm about to head over to the sink and I'll be right back all right you guys so I'm back I just finished rinsing out the shampoo and shampooing my scalp and everything so my hair feels refreshed I'm going to go ahead and put some more moisture back into it. And I'm also going to be um, straightening out my parts too. I just like to make sure the hairs are in place. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some conditioner. Put the moisture back in my hair and also making sure to detangle my hair very, very well and get all this shit hair out. And I'm just gonna go in with my wide tooth comb and start detangling my hair. My hair isn't too, too tangled. Even though I haven't washed it in a while, it's not too, too tangled because I was um, being gentle and detangling my hair throughout the duration of the time I had my hair styled and everything. So it shouldn't be too, too tangled. And then I'm going to go in with my Tangle Teaser Brush. And after I detangle, I'll go ahead and do the usual two-strand twist it back up so it does not get back tangled. And we're going to move on to the next section. So I'm going to repeat these steps all around my head, um, putting in the conditioner and going ahead and detangle.
you guys so I just finished putting in the conditioner and detangling my hair I'm getting ready to rinse out the conditioner and then I'm going to go in with a deep conditioner because I like to um, deep condition my hair usually when I put conditioner in I just put that in so it's easy for me to detangle my hair and then I go in with the deep conditioner deep conditioner I'm going to go in with is the rice water and aloe vera um, deep conditioner by Myel Organics. I've never tried this before, so I want to see how this works on my hair. So I'm getting ready to go rinse this out, and then I'll be right back for deep conditioning. All right, you guys, so I just rinsed out the conditioner. I'm getting ready to go ahead and put the deep conditioner in. And this says I have to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, so I'll sit under the hooded dryer and everything. Alright you guys, so I just finished putting in the deep conditioner. I'm getting ready to just put some on the top of my head. And I'm getting ready to sit under the hooded dryer. It doesn't say to sit under the hooded dryer, but I'm going to sit under there anyway because that's how I um, deep condition. So, so far I cleansed my hair, detangled, and we're about to go ahead and reinforce that moisture back in your hair because when you do protective styles you want to make sure you are starting on clean hair like I said and make sure you are also starting on hair that is properly moisturized so I'm gonna go ahead sit under this hooded dryer for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be back after I rinse the deep conditioner out all right you guys so I just finished sitting under the dryer and I rinsed the deep conditioner out so my hair is basically the wash day is basically complete so the next thing I'm going to do is blow dry my hair a little bit I'm not going to like blow it out so so much I'm just going to blow it out just a little bit because I want it to be at least a little stretch for my mini twist that I'm trying to do so you'll see that video next I will be blow drying my hair just a little bit not like a full on blowout probably just dry a little bit get a little stretch like that but if you want a whole video on how I do my blowouts I'm not going to film it in this video but I have a whole separate video on how I actually do my blowouts click that I um, to see that video or check the description box to see how I actually blow out my hair because I'm not going to be filming it in this video but um, I just wanted to jump on here to tell you guys I'm going to be blow drying my hair and then I'll be back I just finished washing my hair um, shampooing conditioning detangling and deep conditioning so my hair is basically like foundation is good your foundation needs to be very good before you do a pro, uh, protective style so your scalp needs to be good hair needs to be good everything needs to be clean um, like I said I'm about to go ahead and head over here to blow dry my hair and then I'll be right back all right you guys so I just finished blow drying my hair um, it took probably like an hour probably less than an hour and a half I didn't do it in a way where I usually wear my blowouts out and it'd be like sleek and all that stuff so I mainly was just focusing on just trying to stretch the hair a little bit and dry it a little bit before I do my mini twist okay but this step is probably optional you don't have to do it it's optional so you don't have to do it but I wanted to do it so I can you know make sure my parts are clean and it's probably gonna be easier for me to part my hair when it's dry and stretched like this so this is my hair after I blowed it out. I'm getting ready to put in some protective style mini twists for the week. And that video will be after this video. So definitely look at that video after this one. But this is the end of this video, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed my prepping for protective style 
video today. Um, if you did, let me know down below in the comment section. All the Myel Organics products that I used in this video will also be linked in the description box for you guys in the individual links and also I will have their entire website linked down below as well. So make sure you check the description box as well. Also, let me know how you prepare your hair for it to be in a protective style, either that be a long-term protective style or a short-term protective style. Let me know all those details down below in the description box. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music. And I will see you guys in my next one. My name is Ayana Lachey and I am the creator, the owner, and illustrator for Ayana Lachey Illustrations. I started Ayana Lachey Illustrations back on October 25th, 2019. I create my own illustrations for t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, wall decor, poster prints, um, and more things to come when I expand my catalog. I'm not going to tell you yet, but it's a bunch more to come. I aim for my illustrations and my brand to empower, encourage, and inspire our Black community out here, y'all. We really need this. Some deals that I have on my shirts and products on my site right now is if you sign up for the newsletters, you will receive 10% off your first order. And also when you sign up for the newsletter, you'll be in the know about when I launch new products, when I launch um, new designs, what's new to come, early bird access to the new designs. Um, details on how I came up with a specific design or a specific collection and you'll also get some exclusive deals on the newsletter. So make sure you go check out my website and my brand at www.ayanalacheillustrations.com and I'll see you guys. Over